What's good, YouTube? Merry Christmas to all y'all little bad kids out there. Do whatever y'all want. Y'all still gonna get something for Christmas at the end of the day. But coming at y'all with another video. Um, make sure to pause the video if I'm going too fast or whatever. But yeah, coming at y'all with another video. How to get this posterizer badge. This badge is kind of hard to get. Most of the YouTube tutorials I looked at didn't really show me what I wanted to see. How to get it the correct way. And as you can see, that's one of my posterizers right there. I'm going to show you how to get this badge in the first place. And so this badge will take you around... I mean, it, it all depends on how easily you get it down, get the hang of it. It took me about six games because I did not know what I was doing at all. And so, basically, you just want to get a steal from half court and then, like, run out and dunk on somebody. That dunk did not count. It was no contact involved. All you have to do is attempt 15 of them. 15, that's all you have to attempt. So, I run out. You see that? That's a layup. That does not count either. All you have to do is just get a quick steal when you get coming when the point guard's dribbling up from half court or whoever's dribbling up. You see, I get the fast break, I run out, and then I come back in, and then I dunk on them. And when you see it says in the top right corner where Gray says it says contact dunk, that's how you know that you actually that actually counts towards your posterizer badge. And in order to get Hall of Fame posterizer, you're probably gonna need 30 or so. I still have not yet to receive Hall of Fame Poster Roster, but it's going to take a while. Um, and if y'all enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button for me. You know, I'm trying to end off this year on a good note, get a lot more subscribers, and I'll see y'all next time.